So you don't want to get your flu shot this year because you got it last year and still caught the flu? <laughs> what you should say is you caught one of the flus. You see, there are multiple strains of flu viruses out there and they are constantly evolving. They're grouped into four types, A, B, C, and D. Types A and B cause annual epidemics, <laughs> type C does not, while type D primarily affects cattle. Mm. Type B appears to only affect humans, but type A viruses circulate among humans and animals. <laughs> only type A viruses are known to have caused global pandemics. There are three ways a virus can spread. First is transmission directly from one member of a species to a member of another species. For example, a chicken gives a flu to a human. <coughs> Then there's adaptation. When the virus goes from one species to another species, it adapts the virus and spreads it to a third species. So a chicken could give a flu to a pig, which then changes it and passes it on to a human. <coughs> there's also genetic reassortment. When gene segments from two different types of influenza viruses combine in the cells of a species to make a new type of flu. All this makes for constantly changing viruses with many strains. Each year, the World Health Organization tries to figure out which influenza strains are most likely to cause epidemics. They have five labs across the world. Those labs analyze samples so the WHO can try to make the most beneficial vaccine that year. It means the shot you get at the pharmacy or doctor's office protects you against the influenza viruses research suggests will be most common in the upcoming season. Sure, there's an off chance you may catch some other type of flu, but at least you're protected from these ones. Because flu viruses are constantly changing, so are flu vaccines. Getting updated each season to give you the best protection. That's why it's important to get vaccinated every year. So what are you waiting for? Get your flu shot.